Okay, so I finished roughing arching the back and got this down so it's just comfortable to hold. There's quite a bit of planing left to do on here. And this mark, um, it, that's not going to go through. That will cut out when I do the graduation. So now we're ready to do the outline. And I have sawed this out with the jigsaw and now I'm going to use a knife to trim it and then finally a file to finish it. So this is number 34, outline. And this, this goes pretty quick. The, cutting it down to the, the mark, I've scribed the outline from the ribs and sawed very close to it. Now I'm just finishing doing a bevel here, and then it's got to be squared across, finished with a file. And the method of cutting down to an outline, you start finish at the finish point, and then bring your, bring your knife forward and you're just cutting away the excess. So as you go, you leave a finished line. You don't skip over and then try to get the bumps and stuff. And I do the corners last. And then after this whole outline is done, then you'd look at it and see if you want to make any changes, if you like the way it flows. And of course you got to cut with the grain. This I did before. That's all done. This is done. I usually start with the back to get into this and then the then then, then I do the top and the, the spruce is a little trickier because you got the, the hard grains and the soft grains to deal with. And technically this would be against the grain if this was a top, but I've got a very sharp knife. And this particular piece of wood works good in this direction. It's one of the reasons why I like doing things by hand. Um, during the roughing out of the arching, I was using a small plane, and you discover what the piece of wood is going to do. Um, sometimes the normal direction of work doesn't doesn't like it. It's and um, it's like when you're cutting hair, you run into a colic. I'm going to do different things. This instrument is a Guarneri model. There's a strong hook to the corners and it's more round in the, in the center bout than the strad. The proportions of the upper and lower bouts are a little bit different and the strad. And then here on end grain, you slide the knife. You've got a lot to cut, you do a lot of sliding with the knife. And the, the finished point is always where you start the cut. I'm not trying to cut to the line. I'm starting where I want it finished and then just cutting away. And then you've got to be careful where there's grain changes. So you see it doesn't take a whole lot of time to go around here. You only have to pick at it.
There. Well, that's it. Now I gotta square it across and then I get to do the corners. <laughs>